Thomas is under siege. One of, one of the main issues that has not, not been dealt with uh, by the Ryan Commission uh, is the issue of the um, unconstitutional nature of the, of the courts uh, that uh, sentenced tens of thousands of children since 19, from 1923 onwards, but in particular from 1938 onwards, uh, to very, very long terms uh, of detention, uh, state detention. Um, in fact, when I was um, two years old, uh, there were something like 4,000 children under state detention. 4,000 children locked up by order of the state, as it were, who'd done nothing wrong. And was there any involvement of the church in this? The, the, the involvement with the church only came after they were put through the legal process. The church um, received the children. The so state found, put them into detention by law, made, created a legal mechanism yes. that got them into detention and then handed the children over to the religious orders of the Roman Catholic Church. And so which order ran the home you were in? Well, there was the Sisters of Mercy in yes. the first instance, and then the notorious Irish Christian brothers uh, in, in, from the age of 10 to the age of 16. Now you were taken in at the age of two, weren't you? Two, yes, indeed. And you were given a criminal record at two? Effectively, yes. Just explain what that was, what crime you had committed. Uh, I hadn't actually committed any crime, but it was an assumed, an assumed crime of, uh, let me put it simply, uh, the children were actually charged with the, their own alleged improper guardianship. Uh, that's how. That's that's actually the fact. Um, the children were brought to court uh, and charged, put through the process. In fact, the the, 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 the mothers uh, weren't even in the court. The children were brought to court uh, and charged. Let's say with having an improper mother. Yeah. So you weren't Ridiculous. under a care order. You were you no, were given no, a criminal record, which um, yeah. had a lasting effect on your future. So preventing absolutely. you from doing jury service Correct. and that kind yeah. of thing. That, that kind of thing. Um, it would. That's why at the age of 17 I got out of the country. You know, there, was no, there wasn't much future for me in Ireland, mm -hmm. uh, which had branded me uh, a criminal from the age of two. What? I mean, from the starting point uh, of the Pope's um, extraordinary uh, apology of March the 20th this year, um, which is. Which the importance of which simply can't be overstated. Um, here, for the first time, uh, we have uh, the leader of the Roman Catholic Church um, apologising profusely for the abuses that were carried out by the priests and indeed by the religious orders. Very important from our point of view that the religious orders are included uh, in the apology. Um, so how old were you when you went into this place? 14. And what was the name of the place? Dangan, D-A-I-N-G-E-A-N. Dangan in County Austin. It was a reformatory. There was no reform. There was no education. We were ill-equipped ill um, clothing. You know, we worked out on farms, you know, the, um, for private farms. We worked out on bogs. We were self-sufficient. We made instruments of torture, which they hit us with, leather straps. We made boots, shoes. So we were so self-sufficient, uh, worked on farms, that the clothing we wore, we made. The heat, although we didn't get it, we generated that because we dug up in the bogs. We also, uh, the farm, we didn't get any of the meat, but that was sold on. So you can understand what, how they used us. We were simply child slave. And That's what, what was the reason that they gave for putting you in there? Uh, in my case, my brother had stolen chocolate and he'd given some to me. So a day or so later, I, it might be considered today as receiving stolen chocolate. chocolate. A lot of chocolate, or just a part of chocolate? Does it make any difference? Was it a couple of bars? Was it a consignment of chocolate? Of well, even if, <laughs> well, yeah, hold on. Oh, even if somebody, by nature, if somebody rubs something, they don't give, they don't give very much of it away anyway. And when you got out, you went to England. I, I, I got a job in a foundry here. I rose from head to toe. I met two former inmates from Cork who asked me to show them where this train station was. When I showed them the train station, I jumped on the train with them. In fact, they were dragging the rivers here for me for two years. I never told anybody. I just disappeared off the face of the earth. Because I feared I'd be sent back in there. And what about the fact that um, you were not able to claim any redress for having been raped? Well, I want criminal justice. Now, they say... I can go to the Regis board where they can get money, but here's the point. This is what the brothers used to say, they'd abuse you and give you some sweets. The state is now saying, okay, we'll give you some money, but if you talk about it, we'll send you to prison. Did you know that? We can be sent to prison. 
for two years and we talk about the compensation process, we sign a gag and all. So the state is repeating what the abuser did. And that's so, wrong. So this isn't just the church at fault here? It's no, the state, it's not. It? It's the state. I, I, not just as, as children, as now. Because it's the state who put in the mechanism, the uh, secret clause, the gagging mechanism. They put that in. It wasn't the church who did that. This is a